To get onto Kids Info Bits, you'll go onto our website www.olsn.ca slash curriculumlakepl, then click on online resources there in the center. Then you will scroll down until you see Kids Info Bits. You can click on the picture or on the words, and this is what it says. It's the perfect educational product for today's young le learners. Content rich, authoritative, easy to use resource for featuring age appropriate, reliable curriculum related content covering a broad range of educational topics designed to help kids explore. And just click on there, anyways, to go. So, this is what um, the home page of the database looks like. As you can see, there are different topics to choose from. And if you scroll down, there are even more. So, from animals to health, geography, art, plants, so much information and it looks really neat. So for today we'll click on people and then it opens up another box full of other categories. So for this example I chose historical figures. And then you can see here on the top you can decide if you wanted to not do people anymore, change your topic and then subtopic from clicking on those arrows. Um, for historical figures under people though, here is a list in alphabetical order of the different people that are included on kids info bits. For fun today we will use Harriet Tubman. So then it takes you to this page, and if you can see, it shows goes home, people, historical figures, Harriet Tubman. And then at the top here we have, um, there's one book, there's five biographies that you can go through, two pictures, and we'll start with books. So I just clicked on there, and then it has the title of the book. Um, when it was copyrighted, you can click to listen to it being read to you if you're here. Um, would prefer it being read and you don't like to read. Scrolling down there's more information and there's a source citation if um, the child had to use it for a paper or something and needed to include the source. And on the right side here under tools are citation tools, email, download, printing, highlighting and notes, saving, download, mp3 player and sharing. So I'll show you how to do highlighting notes. You just highlight a section right click and then you can choose what color you want to highlight with and then you click on notes to add a note so I just put quote for example scroll down and then you can click on save and then if you notice there on the right there's a bracket now with one beside highlights and notes and if you do view all notes there are all the notes that have been made and there's one there and you can press edit notes if you want but we just will go back So then at the top here, um, you can also advance search or click on a bookmark if you want to save this link to review it later. Clicking on more provides even more options. Help, dictionary, title list, search history, a folder if you wanted to save this into a folder. For dictionary, you just click on it and then um, a search bar comes up. I decided to search for the word escaped and there we go comes up with different definitions and we'll just click on it, X. So as you can see it's a great resource for learning and for just helping with projects and things like that. So I'm just going to go back. So now we're going to take a look at under biography. So maybe you didn't want to look at a book but you want to look at a biography of the person. And on the right here there's just the content types of different kinds and how much um, are beside there. So I just chose um, a biography just for fun. And it's sort of the exact same as the book. You can listen to it, it has a title, scroll down to read it. The same toolbar on the right of different things you can do. I um, just wanted to show you a little bit more about sharing. If you want to share this article on social media you can do that by just clicking on the avenue. So then rather than going back again if you wanted to say look at the pictures, you can just go over back onto the right and click on pictures. And as you can see, there are two pictures there if the student or child wants to use it for a project. Also, you can um, look at magazines or news by clicking on that panel. And you can see here there's lots of different magazines to go through and you just scroll down to see them all. And then I'm going to show you how to limit your um, research. So if you click on that plus sign, either for subjects or document types, there are lots of different options and you can just select say like a publication title apple seeds and it would only show you the magazines by apple seeds that are talk about Harriet Tubman or you can in the search bar type in a certain word if there's something you're looking for and then it would limit your search to that word so I did slaves for an example so that's just one way to make it easier because it can be a little overwhelming how much information there is on Kids Info Bits. And that's just a quick introduction to Kids Info Bits.
next time your kids have a project, have them go on to Kids Info Bits and see what they can find.